All right, what's up you guys, Dirty Fargo here, and we're in one of my test worlds here. And I've been using a few other people's designs and using them to come up with something useful for myself. And I've used one of Native Vision's designs for a toggleable clock. Um, I'm not sure if it was actually his design originally, but that's where I saw the video. And I'm, I'm also using Doc M and Panda and whoever else worked on the design for an item sorter. Um, I used one of the principles from it anyways, but, uh, yeah, so basically what it is, is it's an item elevator and sorter. And I think these two things can go in combination with each other really well to create some good, um, mass storage that's already sorted. If you know what I mean, because you could do this, um, for a whole storage system, if you really wanted to, you could have the tower go way higher and you can continue this as long as you want. So you could um, theoretically do this, I think, for every item. Uh, I'm not 100% sure because I haven't tested, but I think you could do it for that many items if you really wanted to. But what I'm going to be testing it for is just for mob drops. But anyways, we got the toggleable clock right here. So we can go ahead and flick that on and that's going to activate our item elevator here and it's really simple all it is is a toggleable clock plus droppers in a stack and redstone connecting to all of them basically that's all it is so if we go up here we can start dropping some mobs and what's gonna happen is all the items are gonna go up the elevator and they're gonna get sorted into their chests for us so I guess this is useful because you want to be able to bring the items high before you store them in chests like that because then you can um you can actually have lots of storage of each item instead of just a few chests if you know what I mean because you can just keep going down and down and down further. So if you bring it up really high you can just have the like mass sorted storage. So all right. So they drop down to here, the hoppers push the items into here. Then they get pushed up and out of the dropper and through the stream and the items will get sorted. So here we've got gunpowder, here we've got bones, and here we've got arrows, and here we've got our rotten flesh. So this is sums up everything that could have dropped from all those mobs. But um, anyways, it's pretty well foolproof other than um, the fact that there's it's buggy still with the whole comparator thing. Because I guess the, the comparators just stop working every once in a while, I guess. And that's a bug. Not really sure. I, unless I'm doing something wrong, please let me know if I am because I'm not, I'm not a, that great at redstone. But yeah, every once in a while, these comparators just kind of turn off for me and I have to just replace them. So I'm not really sure what that is anyways other than that this thing works very like foolproof pretty much unless there's like an overabundance of items like say if I had I don't know let me see 64 64 you know like okay if I threw both these stacks in here See, it doesn't handle an overabundance of items well, um, I guess. So I just picked those up. And then it kept spitting the rest past because, you know, it's not going to spit them out fast enough to be able to intake that much at once. So what I would suggest doing is actually probably having, if you're going to do crazy mass storage, just to be safe to make sure you get every drop, I would have, you know, like arrows, arrows, then bones bones like at least two of like two collection areas for each item just to ensure that you don't miss any so if i when i'm gonna build mine um if the redstone all works the same that is um i'm definitely going to be doing it that way so i just thought this was really cool and definitely worth a show off i could i could have brought this item elevator up higher but like i said i was just testing so you can bring this up as high as you want and it would work you just gotta continue this little tower of redstone up higher basically how th this whole system works the s sorting system i'll have a link in the description to the video that explains it probably a lot better than me yeah so the sorting system works is basically anything over 
when this gets over 17, it'll start to spit items out. So you have to fill the hopper and the dispenser down here fully up with whatever item you want to sort. So it's going to take a lot of collection of that item first before <laughs> before setting this up. But uh, yeah, once it gets 18 bones in there, it, it should start spitting them out. And I might have to reset my comparators to, to get it to work properly, but we will see. Alright, so right now it's at 17, but if we throw a few bones in here, it will go past 17 and then it will start to spit them out automatically until it gets back down to 17, just like that. So that's how that works. Um, and yeah, that that's basically it. So I just I just kind of wanted to show this off because this is definitely something I'm going to be building in, in my server world for sure. Another thing I'll just kind of show off at the end here is I've been working on a design for a uh, sugarcane farm and this isn't done yet but I definitely like the idea of a pulse extender on this just so you make sure you get all of them pushed out so that's what I've got right now set up it's just an extended pulse to make sure that all the sugarcane definitely fall into the stream and this time I usually do the stream one wide but two wide I think is better because I think this will happen less even though, look, it still happens. So I haven't completely solved that problem yet. But um, that's that's the problem I'm trying to solve right there, is drops falling like that. But my plan is to hook a pulse extender up to a bud switch, if possible, with the new updates. Um, and then so whenever, to every time, a sugar, the sugar, there'll be a sugar cane attached to the bud switch. So every time the sugar cane gets three high, this will pulse and do the long extended pulse. So that's my plan anyways. So that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed. See you later.